In this video with the Onking, we're going to talk about how to switch from 2.1 to 2.0. Seems like a downgrade, but trust me, it's an upgrade. 2.1 is in red for a reason, and 2.0 deserves a halo because it's that much better. One of the most common mistakes we've seen with using Anki is just knowing which version to use. So if I pull up my browser here, I just searched download Anki, and it was my first search result, brought me to Anki's website. And if you click on download, it brings you to Anki 2.1 and 2.0. And if you're like me, you're going to just gravitate towards Anki 2.1, and you're going to think, oh, that's the most updated version. It's going to be the best option for me. Um, but I was sorely wrong with this. Anki 2.1 is more of a beta version right now. They're testing some other um, forgetful curve algorithms. And because of that, they don't have all of the support for the add-ons. And if you just read right here, had I just read this, it tells me right here, I have a larger selection of add-ons available. And so this has been something I've been battling with over the past couple of months. Um, and now that I'm done with finals, I'm going to go ahead and venture into switching from Anki 2.1 to Anki 2.0 so that I can get that full selection of add-ons and have Anki be more convenient for my studying. So I went ahead and I downloaded Anki 2.0 even though I already have 2.1 on my computer. And um, if you look here, I've got Anki 2.1 and 2.0. Uh, when you first download these, they're just going to say Anki and Anki 2. And I renamed them to 2.0 and 2.1 respectively because I didn't want to get confused as I was going through this process. If you download these and you're not sure which one's which, just come look at the date created. And I know that I started the semester in August and I've been using this version longer and so I was able to label this one 2.1 no problem. And so um, if I pull up 2.1, here's my home screen. Um, I'm going to come up here to About Anki and just show you that this is version 2.1.0. And um, I was really worried at first that I was going to lose information. I was going to lose all these decks. I was going to lose the scheduling information in the deck that I've been working on. And I was going to lose some of my cards if I did this incorrectly. The great thing about Anki is that as long as you have been syncing your decks and you have been backing that up to the web, all of your information is stored online. And so if you're really worried and you want to have a hard copy of this on your computer, go ahead and come up here to File, Export, and export this whole collection, including the media. And uh, if you do this, it's just going to save to your desktop. I found that you actually don't need to do this. And so what I'm going to show you is that you can just go ahead and close Anki 2.1. So I'm on a Mac, Command-Q. And I'm going to move over to Anki 2.0, and I'm going to open this. Another key thing to remember is that you can't have both applications running at the same time. And so if you're on 2.1 and you're trying to open the 2.0, it's not going to let you. So you have to close out of the application altogether. So since I've already done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on Anki 2.0. Guess what, guys? It's imported all of my stuff for me. I didn't even have to import the decks or anything like that. All I had to do was sign in with my username that I made at the beginning of the semester, and it imported everything for me with the same scheduling information and everything. And just to prove this is Anki 2.0, there it is, version 2.0, and this 0.52 is just some of the updates that they've made. So that's how you switch from Anki 2.1 to 2.0. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.